Hi, George here. Today we're going to be doing this zoom background portrait here inside of Affinity Photo. And if you want to work along with this project, you can download this from my website. There's a link for that in the description. Also, this video is sponsored by viewers like you who've purchased my complete training for Affinity Photo. So if you want to keep these videos going, take a look at my Affinity Photo course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's just get this out of the way and we'll start off with a new image right here. Here's our basic base image. We'll do the contrast stuff last, the contrast adjustments last. But first, we need to separate the foreground from the background and we also need to protect our image. And I always recommend doing this on any kind of a complex image is to make a duplicate of your background layer. Right click and duplicate. There we go, you can just hide that one that is just a safety. So if I mess things up, I can always go back to this layer right here and I have my original image without any problems. Now we need to separate her out from her background area here. And I want to do that on another layer. We're going to be using this layer as our zoom layer. So let's right click up here and duplicate one more time. And there we go. So this is going to be our subject layer. I'll just type that in. There we go. And this layer here, this is going to be the zoom layer. There we are. We'll get the zoom layer done first. That's the easy part of this. So I'm going to hide the subject layer and come down to our zoom layer. Now for the zoom, go up to filters and at the very top here, blur and zoom blur. Pretty straightforward. And as you can see in here, I have this set all the way to the top at 100 pixels. And that looks just fine. Choose apply. Okay, the zoom part is almost finished, but notice that we get this little thin line right through here. This happens on some of the filters. It happens on this zoom filter. We can fix that easily enough. Let's just zoom in. You can see that line right there. Now for this, we're going to be using the clone stamp tool, which is right here. They call it the clone brush. Now a fairly small brush size, as you can see. Now just come up just a little ways or down a little ways. I'm going to go up just a touch here. Hold the Alt key down and click. That sets your clone from spot. And then up on our brushes up here, let's bring our hardness way down. I want a very soft brush. There we go. And let's bring our size up just a little bit here. And that looks pretty good. And then let's go right across that edge. There we go. Just paint right along that. And this is just going to disappear as soon as this is finished. There we go. Just straight across. Hold the space bar down to move your image over. And then just keep on cleaning out that little thin line that's in there. And then finish up right over here. There we go. And we'll zoom back out to fit. I'll just use the control zero keyboard shortcut. And there we go. That little thin line is fixed. Okay, the zoom layer is finished. That easy to do. You'll notice I have a habit here of going back up to the standard move tool up there just as kind of my default tool. Okay, so now go to the subject layer. I'm going to hide that zoom layer. We're on our subject layer. Let's show that again. We now need to remove the background from this subject layer. And for that, I'll go right over here. You might be seeing the rectangular marquee tool right there. Let's click and hold the mouse for a second. At the bottom of that list is the freehand selection tool. Take that one. And I'll be doing a freehand selection around our figure here. Not up against it, but close. Just like that. Just in and around and just come right down. I'm holding down the mouse key the whole time here. And around the bottom and then let's get up to this side here. There we go. And clear around. We're going to go back up to the top and around and back to our starting point right there. And here's our basic selection. We'll now use the refine tool to refine that selection and bring it in right up against the subject. And that's the button right there. There we go. Now I have my set here with the overlay preview. You have different options. There's the black matte preview. Here's a white matte preview. I just kind of like the overlay because you can see the background behind there. That border width, smooth, and wrap. I'm going to bring the smooth up just, just a couple of pixels in here, make it a bit nicer. Not much. I'll leave feathering alone. I'll leave ramp. Maybe bring it down just a little bit like that. Everything else I'll leave the same. You can adjust your brush size right here, or just use your left and right square bracket keys to adjust your brush size. But that looks pretty good. Now on this, just come in and brush right along that edge. You may want to do it a couple of times. And I try working from the outside towards the inside. So I'm not working in here out, I'm working out here and in. And then just take your time and brush along that edge. And let's get this whole thing selected. 
I also like doing this in just little steps. Now some spots like right down here, I'll have to come back and fix that in its own separate move, but that's okay, we can do that. Let's just get it on the top side here and finish up on the right hand side. There we go. And I'll show you a couple ways of cleaning up the mask as we go here. All right, we have a couple spots in here. There's this spot right here, the spot in here, a couple little things right down there needs to be fixed and right over here needs to be fixed. So let's take care of those. I'm gonna start off with this section here and we'll zoom in on that. Notice that our selection is still going. So let's go back up here to the selection tool and all this area here is selected and I want to subtract this section from our selection. So I'll click on subtract and we'll do the same basic thing right in here. Again, not touching the edge, but just up close to it. There we go, back to the refine tool. And I'll bring the brush size down on this one, left square bracket. And let's just brush along this edge and we'll let Affinity Photo come in and give us a real nice clean edge right here. That looks good. Okay, hold the space bar down and let's come down here and fix this little bit right here. Same thing, back to our selection tool. I wanna to have this still on subtract, that's correct. And I'll bring it in just along that edge, kind of like that, that's good. Back to our refine tool, and we'll refine that edge just a little bit better right in there. Okay, that's good. Hold the space bar down again, and we'll pull the image over to this side. And let's get this bit right up in here. Same trick back to our lasso tool and come along inside this area here. Again, I'm using the subtract setting because this is inside of our selection. Back to refine. So one of the nice things here is you can go back and forth on this and take your time and do a real nice clean selection and redo areas that you know need a little bit more of a touch up to them. Okay, that's good. And then right down here, this needs something. So same thing, you can see here it's kind of missing that. So I'll come in here with my selection tool right up against the edge of that belt loop right there, back to our beginning spot, and then back to the refined edge. And let's see if we can get that right up against that edge. Needs a bit more work on that. That really hasn't been grabbed the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to apply this. There's our basic selection. Now you can freehand some of these selection areas out if you want to. For instance, I'm still on subtract. I'm just gonna go up here to this one and I'm going to just go right around that like that. And that should take that out, there we go. Let's try the same thing in here, right along this edge. I'll be a little bit more careful on the edge this time. And back to the beginning, and I'm taking that bit out. Okay, I think we're fine there. Let's now go back to Control-0, back to Fit Screen. A few more spots to fix right up in here in the hair and at the top of the head up there. I'm gonna do those in a different way. So we'll first make our layer mask at this point, come down to the layer mask button, which is right here. Click on mask layer, and there we go. Control D to deselect. Let's now do just a little bit more cleanup in here at the top of the head, right up in there. I think everything else is pretty good. So back to our zoom tool, zoom in up here. Now for this one, notice that I'm on the mask, which is right down here, it's this layer. There's the subject layer, and here's the mask for that layer. Just double click on the mask, and we're on the mask layer. Now the mask is black and white. Black is gonna be hiding and white's gonna be showing. So all I have to do is to grab my paintbrush right here. Let me bring the brush size up, you can see it right down here. Right bracket brings up our brush size. That looks pretty good. Now I have black paint right here. So if I'm painting with black, it's gonna be hiding things. You can see it right there. It hides anything I'm painting on. And if I reverse that to the white paint, it will then bring things back in again. Now I wanna have this real soft still. So a soft edge, there we go, hardness is soft. And I'll bring this up a little bit in size. Let's reverse our colors, white in the foreground. And now if I come in here and just paint like that, I can bring back in a little bit of the head that we lost up in here. And I'll come through and just make sure we're okay in the hair right down there, we had a little bit right there. There we go, looks good, we've cleaned things up. Might be a little bit fuzzy right down here, let's just zoom in on that. A little bit of a darkness right here. We can fix that. It's actually not gonna be showing, but I'm gonna show you this anyway. I wanna remove that, so let's reverse these. I'm on black in front, and back to our paintbrush. Bring the brush size down a lot on this one. And then if I just paint in with that, you can see I just paint that out and it's now hidden by painting black on that layer mask. And I can do the same thing in here, just kinda of clean this area up just a little bit. 
There we go. Almost all masks need a little bit of cleanup at some point. A little bit smaller my brush. That's the left bracket. There we go. And a little cleanup right down in here. Just like that. And I think we're pretty good. If I want to get real picky, I could come back in here and paint back in a little bit of this. Here's our white and try to restore a little bit of that arm, which is just a bit off in here. There we go, just carefully brushing along that edge and bringing back in some of that opacity in there. And right in there, there we go. Okay, I think we're good now. And we can now take a look at this. Control zero to fit screen. In the show our zoom background, now I want to increase the contrast a bit in here. So let's go up here to the subject layer right there on the top line. Go over here to adjustment and levels. And we'll start off with darken. And that brings up the levels control and puts a lot of darkening in here. Back off on the darkening a bit, just a bit like that. Let's bring the white up just a little bit. There we go, just kind of balancing that. As you can see here, you can go you know, real high or less, just a little bit to brighten the whites up. I like to do this, I like to rock back and forth to really get a feel of what the effect is doing and then kind of zero in on where I want. Notice with the black, I'm really coming in here against the histogram right up against the edge. So as my values begin to show, that's where I want that black to be hitting. Right about there. Close that down. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you take a look at my complete training course for Affinity Photo. The link for that is right down there in the description. Click on subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.